And yes, there's definitely a sense of deja vu going on here. Uh, we're back again in Taurus Bus, we're back again on the island of, of Fuerteventura, and we're back again in the rain, it seems. Or well, the last time when we were here, the rain didn't last very long. Let's hope that's the case today. Uh, the quest for today's video is do some routes we haven't done before and maybe go find some crates. What can possibly go wrong? Grab that guidebook to all things Fuerteventura and let's go. So yes, hi there, Steve here, and welcome back to Taurus Bus. Um, so yes, last time we finished off in the uh, rather dirty uh, comfort class. Uh, it was a comfort class, wasn't it? Uh, it was a week ago, I can't remember these things. Yes, it was a comfort class. Um, I think it would have said VDL on the back if it had been the VDL. Um, this time, we're going to do some routes we haven't done before. I'm just getting out of the rain. Um, but first, we'll change coach. Um... Bus time, indeed you do. Um, we've done the Lions coach. The skyline is a bit. Mm. Um, I already fancy the Diddy Little one two two. Uh, Banana Man, hello. I'm gonna go one two two. I think for this one. Um, and we're gonna oh, we're gonna try some routes we haven't done. Uh, so new orders. Um, shuttle service two passengers. We want a long journey, really medium journey. Large trip. Morrow de Javali from Puerto de Osara. See, that's all the way down the bottom of the island to come all the way back up again. Uh, oh, medium trip from the airport to Costa Karma. That could be a thing. Um, so it's going to be me, uh, Matu, pick a repeating one. Well, I've just picked one now. It's a bit late, Lord. And we'll go with the 122. Um, right, so let's go to the... You've done that one. Have I? Well, I've picked it now. How can I, can I, can I cancel it? Um, current orders. Uh, airports cost a karma. Pinboard. Oh, I can assign it to someone else, though, can't I? I can say, get one of my, my minions to do that. Um, trip services. Uh, airports cost a karma. I can pick who's doing it. Ha ha. You could do that in that. There we go. Give it to someone else. There you go. I've done that. Uh, yeah. Hi, Matu. How are we doing? Okay. So the ones I've done, ah, the ones I've done, they've got a little thing by them, haven't they? So repeating one like that, you mean? So Costa Karma to Casillas del Angel. Uh, good. I'm glad you're doing fine. So yeah, that what the ones up there, the little thingy by the ones I've done. Uh, I'm doing great, thank you very much. So that's repeating one that I haven't done before. I think. I could be wrong. Wait for the all-knowing Larwood to say, "Yep, you're fine with that one." I think I'd know about this game by now, wouldn't you? That's right. Okay. So, if I do Costa Karma, to, I'll do that one then. And then me in the... Uh, what else I was going to do? The 122. There we go. Right. So, now let's skip the time. And to... Where am I? Schedule trip. Why is there schedule trip there as well? That's confusing. Sunday. So, that's got to be that one. Driver Mats is ill. I'll just give it him the flipping trip. Okay, we'll give it to someone else then. Luf. Luf can do that. He's already on 44 hours a week. He don't mind it over time. He'll be fine. Uh, I've got to skip forward again now, haven't I? Because that put me through to 4 o'clock. He woke me up at 4 o'clock in the morning to tell me someone was ill. Someone's now not happy with their salary. Well, that's just a shame. And Leaf's had an accident. Oh, for God's sake. Well, he's doing 44 hours a week, I suppose. And Christian Zill. I don't like being the owner of a company. <laughs> um, yeah, if you are new, and my data volume's used up as well. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, that's at the filing cabinet, isn't it? Um, if you are new, there is a link to the Discord server um, there. Do please check that out. Um, 
there we go it is a great server and obviously if you've not seen any of my stuff on youtube before if you're not watching this on youtube uh, then check out the uh, youtube channel as well where this uh, stuff ends up so we're in the 122 this time which still hasn't got the sims and stuff uh, skin on but you know one day uh, we'll get them right some of them are now working for firm bus uh, but not quite working for this just one problem after another yeah okay that's looking very purple so yeah the 122 slightly longer than the, uh, the little 106 but i do quite like the vdls reset track ir that's working shut the door right so 366 is where we're going um let's go down here and put the things on then passenger lights uh, on the reading clearance on just in case it gets dark i suppose uh drive monitor off passenger monitor on or it does anything we'll turn it off restroom clearance on wi-fi clearance is on and then being a vdl we've got to go over there put the aircon right. on um hang on did have I got text to speak? I'm sure I just heard stupid twitch rip in my ear then. Um, thank you, Chaos. <laughs> 23 months. That's awesome. I'm sure I've done something that it said stupid twitch. Um, yeah, cheers, Chaos. Thank you. I left my window open in my computer room and it's been raining and damp uh, all day. And my steering wheel is got that damp feel to it it's not great it is stupid well yeah i can't argue with that really right so we've got our map that we've got to follow so this is a repeating job then so once i've done it I can give it to one of my poorly minions who keep having accidents and going off sick. I just sack a lot of them and start again. Text to speech is definitely a thing. Um, though I think it's unusually meant to be set up so the stream. Uh, usually it's meant to be set up so the stream hears it. It was very quiet. Um, I could just about hear it. So perhaps it's something I've got to set um, in uh, Streamlabs to increase its volume. Uh, what steering wheel do I use? Uh, I've got a G27. A slightly moist G27. It's actually not very pleasant to hold. I should really put some heating on. Uh, right. So Costa Karma is where we're going off to. On a uh, medium trip it seems. And then we can do this and give it to one of my minions. So yeah, I want to look for some containers. Um, so slightly, um, maybe, cheaty. Um, look, if anyone that's watching just happens to Google the location of containers and just happens to have the combinations to said containers, I may be tempted to go and hunt for a few on the stream. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, once I've done this journey, that, you know, because I haven't actually opened a single container yet, so... Uh, in all the time I've been doing this. You're meant to work out the combination yourself. Yeah, I know you are, because some of them are like the phone numbers to restaurants and certain things, but you know, I haven't got time for that. I'm not Sherlock Holmes. I could just Google it myself, I suppose, couldn't I? Because if someone's bound to put the information up on to interwebs. There are posts on a Steam somewhere with all the... Exactly. It is slightly cheaty, I know, but... Hello, Liam. I just think you don't, don't want to see me dithering around trying to hunt out combinations. That's my only thought process on it. I need to say process. That's no, not good. I've been watching too much American YouTube. So anyway, yes, it's Friday as I'm recording this. It's Wednesday as it's going out live on YouTube. It could be one of the other days of the week that you're watching it. 
you're watching it on YouTube, or if you're Larwood and it's currently Saturday. That's not confusing. Um, the week is over. It's been a, a good week. Looking forward to the weekend, because the weekend starts, well, about Aaron. What time is it? Uh, I think hour and 36 minutes ago for me. Have you been down into the mine cave thing? Uh, no. I haven't even found the nudist beach yet. Apart from driving to test um, coaches, as I do, uh, and test bits of the map, all the gameplay that I've actually done to make money and do routes and stuff, you've all seen. Unfortunately, I don't play this um, when I'm not streaming it or recording it. Which is something that I should really rectify, but I just don't get the time. Right, Antigua. My steering wheel is literally bits of it flaking off. That's not good. Uh, why is it doing a thing? I'm guessing I've got to come back through here. Yeah, I didn't want to drive the little 122 again. Because we've done that a lot. But I thought, no, this is a 122. The 106 is what I meant. Didn't want to drive the 106 again. Um, thought I'd do the 122. So yeah, we'll do a medium trip. Then maybe go a bit of container hunting. And then see if we can do a, uh, a shuttle that we haven't done. And I might even do a double stream tonight. I'll see uh, what time I come off here. And uh, I do really fancy uh, doing something else. So we'll see. See how long it takes to get uh, what we got done here. What we got done, that's good English, isn't it? What we've got to get done here done. And that's still good English. We'll see how long this takes, and then uh, may come back and do another stream. Uh, for some reason, when I press skip time to next appointment on the calendar, when I go to drive the route, the AI completely disappears. There are certainly AI issues in this, um, that it's very sporadic as to if you see them and when you see them. It's something TML are working on. Because sometimes you don't see anything. Like here and now for me. So it turns a bit vague because I don't want to touch my steering wheel, which is difficult when I've got to drive. It's been quite humid in this room because the window has been left open. I don't know who did that stupidly. Um, so that everything's got this damp touch to it. So all the rubber, the leather's coming off my steering wheel. It does still seem that we're driving a long way, isn't it, Ivy? That we're driving a long way. Oh, hang on, I'm going to cough. Uh, it does still seem that we're driving a long way uh, to the uh, first uh, destination. So no matter what job I take, it does seem to end up at the very south of the island. Apart from last time, where we didn't. There we go. See, now we get a 
a flurry of AI vehicles. Is that what it's called? When you get a lot of AI together, a flurry? Not a muck flurry. That's trademarked, you can't call it that. So it's probably lots of people now. Scores have broken up today as I record this, stream this, do this. Um, schools have broken up in the UK, so there's probably a lot of people getting excited about uh, flying out to uh, the Canaries tomorrow for an overpriced holiday that you won't be able to get in the pool, won't be able to get anybody near the bar. Um, and uh, you'll get burnt in the sun and you'll come back and then listen to your kids moaning for the next four weeks um, because they're bored. And then it'll be September, the lights start drawing in and the winter will be upon us and then it'll be Christmas. So that escalated. Um, oh, that, that did some damage. We are going a long way to start this journey, as always. Pajama, or Pajara, Pahara. Was it 10 to 3 in the afternoon in the game? So this is a medium trip. Then I reckon at some point on this trip it's going to get dark. We usually go to Turkey in the summer. Uh, but as we bought a new house, we can't really go anywhere this year. Yeah, house buying is expensive. I'm still recovering from buying mine 11 years ago. We do end up, seem to end up on this same bit of road every single time. Oh, I can see a, a huh on the uh, sat nav. And not a single AI vehicle on the road in front of me. And an upside down steering wheel. Costa Karma. I really should have a map of Puerto Ventura up on the wall. I know I could have pressed map. Because when I'm taking these jobs in, I'll know that it's uh, down the south of the island. Well, we get to have a drive, I suppose. Alright, off here. At least it's not the twisty road. At least we're not in the 148, because that won't get round these roundabouts. This is tight getting round then. This is only the 122. Victor, thanks very much for the host. Much appreciated. I uh, play this game so much, you remember all the places are. Yeah. I don't. I wonder why I wasn't looking. I paused track I are. There we go, that's better. I wonder why my view was a bit fixed. Again, we've got some people in the Discord that it's all they do is play one game. I just can't as good as some games are that I've got, you know, I like X-Plane, uh, I like OMSI, I like Fernbus, I like this, I like doing a bit of train sim. I couldn't just spend all my time in one game. That's why I like doing a variety 
because it's the sp uh, spice of life and all that. And not the sort of spice you find in your spice rack. Right. Finally, we've arrived. Uh, so we want to open the baggage door and that door. And on they get. That's actually that's not a bad picture, that. Let's do that with my screenshot. Right, passengers getting on. Oh, they even got on, in fact. And off we go. To the next destination. Usually I've played Taurus Bus and ETS 2. Now ETS 2 is one of those games that I've never got bored with. But I couldn't just play ETS 2 and even just ETS 2 and Taurus Bus. Occasionally there are games that um, get me so that I don't want to stop um, playing them. Graham, good uh, evening. Or well, good afternoon for you. Afternoon, are you are? Yeah, just about, I think, isn't it? We were having this discussion the other day, actually, about um, like the Gran Turismo games for the console. Um, remember when Gran Turismo 2 came out, or one of them, um, that I just couldn't stop playing it. And even one of the ones where... Was it one of the Gran Turismo's where you had to you had this like a tick box um, of all the races and to do certain um, races you had to get certain cars and I wanted to tick every single box and that was a reason to do it. Uh, am I driving the new physics? No. I am not uh, currently showing you the new physics. See, I like having reasons to do, um, to play games. So yeah, 48 minutes into the afternoon for you. And like with X-Plane, doing those, the flights that we're doing, it's having a reason to do the flights, a, a destination in mind. Um, and it's been a while since I've actually found a game that I can't stop playing. That you know, one of those ones where you just come in the house and turn it on, and you don't you turn it off when it realises it's gone dark and you haven't eaten. I've yet to find one like that. Yeah, the new physics should be out soon for this and firm bus and some improvements to um, the way that they run as well. Right, second stop. After going what seems like a really long way round. Uh, that one, that one, that one. I'll better open the middle one in case someone wants to get off that got on the first stop. Have a drink of the orange while they're loading. Right, firm bus and tourist bus, new bus physics, and it's currently beta. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is just a standard version. On to the next stop. Yeah, so it would run smoother um, with the new big update and improved handling physics. 
Although, I, you know, apart from the steering wheel doing 180 degrees when you're just turning a slight corner, um, but the physics have certainly got a lot better. Uh, I can run Taurus bus perfectly, but firm bus I can't seem to make it smooth. Yeah, don't forget Taurus bus was developed after firm bus, so this does run a bit smoother than Taurus bus. Firm bus has been an ongoing battle um, to be uh, to be made smooth. And as we all know, when Fernbus first came out, it ran horrible. You know, this has it as its moments. Certainly, you know, currently putting a bit of a workload on my uh, gaming rig. Uh, I won't mention streaming PC or anything. Um, But it's running better. Hang on. Am I heading towards the middle of the the island? Is this going to take me up over the twisty road? conscious of not trying to speed. I shouldn't be worried about AI traffic because there isn't any. Uh, I only get some lower frames in Puerto del Rosario. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. I'm quite guilty in uh, all games, actually, of uh, never checking my frame rate. Because I think there's a bush in the road. Uh, if it looks smooth, then it's smooth. I do notice because I've got OBS, uh, which is obviously what you're seeing, running on the screen to my left. I notice occasionally some juddering going on in there. But Jimmy looking quite smooth. Oh, I have a feeling that was going to do that. I should really map the buttons to raise and lower the front suspension. We've got some floating uh, rocks in the uh, middle of the road then. love compared to firm bus the variety of uh, driving that you've got to do from sort of fast roads in certain places to roads like this where yeah you can get a bit of a wriggle on but not to a huge extent Even things like that look really good. Right, the next stop is coming up. And there's a twisty road up there. You can see it on top of the hill. Thankfully, well not say thankfully, but this route doesn't seem to be taking us up that road. Uh, these VDLs are actually the best of passenger comfort in real life. Well, I think they're more of a budget coach, aren't they? They're not an expensive coach. I think you'd be going sort of Volvo, Scania... Mercedes if you wanted luxury but coach companies don't care about the luxury of the passengers really 
they care about uh, running costs, repair costs and residual value. You know, how long are we going to run it? How long are we going to keep it for? What's it going to cost us for parts, servicing? Um, and what's it going to be worth at the end of our period? don't really care about passenger comfort do they because the passengers are on it you know you're average unless it's doing regular school trips which a lot of them do where you get the same school kids on it every day we don't really care what they think um, but other than that as long as it's clean tidy so people will rebook it and as long as you're, you're about it's about the service not necessarily the coach then the comfort because you're only on the thing for a couple of hours not really that important if you're a budget coach company. If you're going for high end and luxury and long distance stuff, then yeah, you'd spend more on the coach. Whoa. Because you want those passengers to come back. You want them to be comfortable. You want the entertainment. I mean, nowadays, as it says in the announcement on Fernbus, you've got you know USB plugs and stuff to charge um, your phone. You've got TV screens dotted around. You know How long is it gonna be? Or are there coaches out there that have got entertainment systems like planes you know long distance coach companies do they have tv screens in the back of every seat because that put a lot of power wouldn't it poor little alternator anyway where sims and stuff travel we don't really care about the passengers they're irrelevant. They are our victims. Some coaches have individual entertainment screens. That's pretty cool. I've been caught speeding. I was just looking down thinking... I'm going a bit fast. Oh yeah, I lagged out a bit then. Yeah, my aim is um, probably next weekend when we call speeding again is to uh, get my streaming PC set up. take the workload off my gaming rig so the stream should be smoother then because I'll have a PC that's just pushing out the stream so this gaming rig can just focus on playing the game which means I will then try and stream at uh, 1080p 60fps uh, I was on a scanning a touring coach earlier today on my way home from school and that was really comfortable yeah I can imagine a scanner would be So last day at school, six weeks off, and you'll probably be bored by Tuesday morning. six weeks off. I'm going to win the Euro Millions tonight anyway, so uh, I'll be quite happy then. Alright, here we are in Antigua. So I'm opening a luggage thing actually, because no one's getting on and off with luggage. I bet some of the coach drivers miss those. It's quite nice to have a regular run in it. Because I bet you get the same coach driver every day. Um, not necessarily the same coach. So that he knows where to pick up from. And I just imagine they miss it. For that six weeks. I 
Right, on to the next one. I'm speeding again. No, I'm not. I wasn't speeding, honest officer. I don't think I don't get used to a different coach drives and coach every day. Okay. Um, with this VDL, as I've said this before, is that gap between the left of the dash and the pillar. I just, it doesn't feel as though I'm sat central. I can see why they've done it to make it feel a bit more open. But it just takes me getting used to. So if you are watching and you haven't done already, there is a link to the YouTube channel there uh, where these uh, streams do go up on YouTube on a Wednesday. Um, if I stream the tourist bus on a Friday, that is. Um, something from Omzi the bus simulator on a Monday. Uh, something from Fernbus the coach simulator on a Friday. And um, every other Tuesday, we'll see the return of Train Sim. And every other Thursday is the return of Flight Sim to YouTube with uh, a series that may be coming to an end soon uh, in ETS 2 going out on a Saturday and something uh, as a very occasional series on Random Sunday so plenty of content from me on the YouTubes so hit subscribe if you haven't done already there's no way I'd have got a longer coach around there Ben good evening Break, 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 break. And don't forget, if you're watching this either live, I've got bits of steering wheel with me, or um, not live, as I shake off bits of steering wheel. Uh, Saturday nights, the uh, enjoy, say, the fun stream um, for us when. Uh, we do uh, ETS2 trucking and tunes, so ETS2 multiplayer on a Saturday night uh, with some music. So uh, yeah, always look forward to that on a Saturday. That way, that way. So stream schedule for me this weekend, obviously this uh, tonight. Um, and then uh, ETS2 tomorrow night, uh, being Saturday. Uh, nothing for me on Sunday this week. And um, and then back again on Wednesday. If I get a chance, then maybe a cheeky stream tomorrow afternoon. So Saturday afternoon. And uh, I'll say, see what time you finish the shenanigans this evening. I may stay on for an hour and do something else this evening. We shall see. Where are we going? Straight on. Look how the white line is being painted on the road <laughs> ahead of us. Break 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 See it's still showing a hundred K speed limit right up to this point. Oh now it's gone down to fifty. Like wow you gotta slow down really quickly. Right, into Puerto del Rosario. So we're not far from the home garage now. We haven't, uh, haven't even got halfway around the route yet.
thought I said case then. I thought Queen Farm Sim. That's something I really miss. I do miss a bit of farming. That's such a relaxing thing to do. Uh, it is interesting on my route home as some of the roads and corners are very tight for a 129. A bit twisty then, is it? Rent a bike. Or, or don't. A lot of people are getting off here. Don't go, don't leave me. Okay, that's a lot of people getting off. You all got off? <laughs> they swipe someone on the head with the luggage door. Ah, right, I think this is the halfway point. Because we've got to go up here, turn around and come back. Of uh, Puerto del Rosario. Oh my god, that's not going to end well for the Mercedes. Or the truck. Why is he trying to get something longer around there? Be like, yikes. Break, 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 break. <laughs> Van. And stop and see. You could have just walked across the other side of the road, couldn't they? That would have been would have saved me a lot of driving around and around the corner. If they'd have all just right, you board and disembark from that side of the road. Ben, thanks for the host. Right, so making a return trip back now to breaking. <laughs> Costa Karma. So keep having to reset track IR because it doesn't feel as though I'm sat in the middle of the coach. Because of the dash. It's that same van again. Must be lost. He's going round and round the block. Right, we'll try not to get done for speeding. Try and indicate when the wheel's upside down. Really, that makes you think which indicator. So I use the paddles for the indicators. So when the wheel's upside down, the indicator when you want to turn right, you've got to press one on the left. Then I'll give your brain a workout on a Friday. that five to five and it's the date is the 10th of january in game so we're going to get the sunset soon there's a lot of s's 
Um, and then it should get dark, which generally happens after the sunset. Oh, wow. Need normal style indicator thing as I can real life. Oh, indicator stalks. Yeah, I'd love that. I, I, what I'd really like is a proper handbrake. Or I'd really want, there's, there's button boxes out there with like the American truck style air brake things. We just pull out the toggle. I'd love something like that. And yeah, an indicator stalk. Why hasn't somebody invented the indicator stalk where you actually flick the indicators? That would be quite cool. I've still got used to the paddles now. On all the games, I have the indicators set up as the paddles. And I try and leave all the other buttons in the same place as well. Engine start, stop. Um, uh, the parking brake. The lights, etc. are all in the same place, regardless of what game. So the same for Euro Truck, for OMSI, for Firm Bus. They're all in the same place. Right, go, go, go. Oh, a lot of victims here. Oh, I'm not going to open the... No, I did open the original part. I said I wasn't going to, and I did. If you're getting on, if you're getting off. I think it'll be quite nice as it's getting dark. Do you stop there? Yeah, cheers, Ben. On to the next one. See, doesn't that look great? They've certainly done a brilliant job in making this thing look fantastic. And it's going to get better. Do you play Taurus Bus in VR? No. Because if I did, I wouldn't be able to uh, see my other screens and button box and stuff. I should imagine it'd be quite good in VR. I've got Track IR, which is, you know, pretty similar experience. I can just move my head around and move around. So it's probably as close as I can get to having VR without actually having VR. To Antigua, we fly. I just 
love this coach. I think it handles so well. So I love the little 106, but this 122, I think, is the uh, the sweet spot of not being too small and not being too big. I think it's actually pretty spot on as far as uh, the length of coach, certainly for the journeys we're doing and the amount of passengers that we've got to transport. Half a tank of fuel left as well. The Hillsman, good evening. I was starting to accelerate nicely then, then looked down the sat nav and went, oh god, that's a left hand, right hand turn. down this rope already. Oh yeah, this is the road that we started out on. Well, that was a thing. Some of these hills. You just can't drive flat out in this thing. Do I watch Love Island? Uh, no. I actually don't watch any normal TV. I haven't even got an aerial plugged into my uh, main TV in the living room. I watched uh, on the ITV player thing uh, a show called Yorkshire Airport. I watched that last night. It was on the night before. That's the first bit of normal TV that I've watched in a long time. YouTube seems to be uh, taking up a lot of my time. Not just creating it, um, but watching it as well. Yeah, like most people, I work um, Monday to Friday. And I'm on here on a Friday night. I'm on here on a Saturday night. I'm normally on here on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, and on the Wednesday night, streaming. And that only leaves me Saturday daytime, Sunday morning, Sunday evening, Monday night, Tuesday night, Thursday night. So three evenings a week and one bit of daytime. That's all I get. And in that time, I've also got to uh, live a life um, and record all the content you see on YouTube. So I don't get a lot of time. Obviously, some of the content that goes out on YouTube are the Twitch streams, so it sort of kills two birds with one stone when I do that. So this will be a video going out on YouTube. Alright, another stop. Definitely getting dark now. Well, I'm not opening the luggage compartment this time. See if they complain. See if you've got a bag on board, you can't get it off. Ha ha. We'll see how they like that. See how you like them onions. Ah, oh, thirsty, right. Onwards. At least once I've done this journey, 
I can then uh, give it to one of my minions. Banana. Not those minions. Oh, no. It is a raining, isn't it? You know, be gutting. You leave the UK today, as I said earlier. You know, end of school term. You fly out to the Canaries. You get off the plane, and it's absolutely teeming it down with rain. You'd be like, "Yay! I'm on holiday." Actually, some of the best holidays I've ever had have been on these two weeks. We shut down fortnight. Um, and have been camping in Cornwall for two weeks and gone through scorching days where it's just too hot to do anything to days when it's too wet to do anything and still some of my favourite holidays ever. Chuck it down the rain, sat in a tent, um, playing cards or whatever, Ugh, just so, so, so good. The rain shouldn't dampen things. Ha! See what did that? Dampen things. Well, that was a hill. I really like the way this thing looks when it when it's wet. The cars have got the lights on as they should. Look at it. It just looks awesome. God, that's the point where your passengers would be throwing up. Do not get bored of driving down the same roads all the time. Um, well, it's not done by choice, but no, I, it does seem every journey we end up having is at the south of the island. But we were saying earlier um, that about people play the same game all the time. I just couldn't do that. Because it's you know, it's driving different coaches, different times of the day, you're going to and from various destinations. You know, even in games like Firm Bus, where, yeah, you're driving from place to place, but the road looks the same, you could be anywhere. At least here, you've got the variety of roads. And it's the bits in between that make this more interesting. Uphill and down dale and all that. Oh, I did say stop, didn't it? Oh well. Yeah, I get that. And that, again, is one of the reasons why I do like Omzi, although it frustrates the hell out of me. Um, the variety of buses and the variety of routes do make a difference. This, yeah, there's a few different coaches I'm driving, and technically I suppose it is the same roads, but 
yeah, I, I still get an enjoyment from it. So this is more enjoyable to me than uh, Firm Bus. I can just press my OMSI button then to cancel the indicators, that one. Break, 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 break. Right, and back to Costa Karma. Never knew how hard it could be to plan a journey. Yeah, I had to take a day off the company yesterday as I had to reinstall OMSI as I drove the man A40 and it killed my game. Oh. That's not so good. That's why I don't want to do too many mods and things with OMSI. I would still like to stick, as much as I love, I'd love to do Bodenham, I want to stick with the uh, official stuff. Because before, my OMSI was very, very broken. Right, so back to Costa Karma we come. A bit fast. Right. So what I'm thinking for those watching you on uh, Twitch um, as it's early and we've done an hour oh, uh, oh it does come in Bremen okay uh, an hour in this what I'm thinking is I will end and I will give it five minutes and then as the hillsman has just mentioned it and I'm done it for a while I'll uh, maybe come back and do some omsi I have to plan I'm going to get to Leeds and to Swinton and back once a month. I kept forgetting what time I put everything, so it's have to restart about three or four times. You should always make notes, Liam. Write stuff down. We've got a thousand XP for doing that. Uh, right, fast travel. So, yes, yeah, so you're watching this on Twitch. What I'm going to do is we're going to fast travel back to the garage um, now. I'm going to end and uh, I'm going to come back in about five minutes and spend an hour or so in uh, OMSI in the bus company and do a, do a journey or two. And uh, so, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, Taurus Bus will be back again uh, next week. And next time... We will uh, do some container hunting. I'll do some research. Um, ready for next uh, next week's video. And we'll do some container hunting. Oh, that's good. I've got a flash of lightning there. Just help me see where I'm going. Uh, yes, I use track IR. Um, so there we go then. So I will end that there. For those watching live, give me five minutes or so. And uh, I will come back with uh, some OMSI 2. Uh, if you're watching this on uh, YouTube. Um, then yeah, until the next time, if you have been. 
thanks very very much for watching